Welcome to the WAM's fourth annual Black History Month celebration, Black History Through the Arts. The tone for our program has been set and we have been called by the djembe to a celebration. Why do we celebrate Black History Month? The story of Black History Month begins in 1915, half a century after the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States. That September, the Harvard-trained historian Carter G. Woodson and the prominent minister Jesse E. Moreland founded the Association for the St Study of Negro Life and History, an organization dedicated to researching and promoting achievements by black Americans and other people of African descent. Known today as the Association for the Study of African American Life and History, the group sponsored a National Negro History Week in 1926, choosing the second week of February to coincide with the birthdays of Abraham Lincoln and Frederick Douglass. The event inspired schools and communities nationwide to organize local celebrations, establish history clubs, and host performances and lectures. Please stand for the national an anthem and remain standing for lift every voice and sing. Thank you, Wham. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Wham's high school chorus. 
Did you know Lift Every Voice and Sing was written by the poet James Weldon Johnson? Many people are surprised to learn that Lift Every Voice and Sing was first written as a poem. Created by James Weldon Johnson, it was performed for the first time by 500 school children in celebration of President Lincoln's birthday on February 12, 1900 in Jacksonville, Florida. The poem was set to music by Johnson's brother, John Rosamont Johnson, and soon adopted by the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP, as its official song. Today, Lift Every Voice and Sing is one of the most cherished songs of the African American Civil Rights Movement and is often referred to as the Black National Anthem. Again, thank you, Wams High School Chorus. Mm -hmm. Dance in okay. Dance in Africa is integrated into everyday life. It is an expression of life and can be seen at social, religious, and cultural events. Communities gather together to dance for the birth of a baby or the death of a loved one. Dance is passed down through generations and often tells a story or teaches a lesson. The Wham's dancers will perform a dance that is a compilation of African movements designed to expose the students to the rhythms of Africa. And now we present Okwaba, which means welcome.
taking all the bells. My mansion on a bottom, baby, take a look around. My bank a lot, na bagam, my shaking all the bells. My mansion on a bottom, make you take a look around. Can they hear me? Again, thank you, Wham's dancers. Just beautiful. Once more, people. Love me. Oh, uh, wait, where? Is oh, um, the I Have a Dream speech was delivered in 1963 in Washington, D.C. by the most reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. In his speech, he said, and I quote, Five score years ago, a great American in whose symbolic shadow we stand today signed the Emancipation Proclamation. This momentous decree came as a great beacon of light of hope to millions of Negro slaves who had been seared in the flames of withering injustice. It came as a joyous daybreak to end the long night of their captivity. But 100 years later, the Negro still is not free. Dr. King wanted America to know the injustice done to the Negro, and he fought for the many rights we all enjoy today in each of our lives. Listen carefully to the words of Dr. King as you watch the movement of the dancers. Imagine yourself back in time, trying to make ends meet, wanting your family to live like other families, fighting for the same rights and privileges as others, and fighting to have access to an education equal to that of others. The powerful words of Dr. King will be expressed through dance by our WAMS choreography students, Jacintha Aduko, Tyra Campbell, Alicia Holmes, and Ariana Marquet. difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day, down in Alabama, with its vicious racists, with its governor, having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. 
One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I have a dream today. One day every valley shall be exalted. And every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the south with. With this faith. We will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. Free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are free at last. Did you get it? Did you understand it? God of our weary years, God of our silent tears. Thank you, Williams Choreography students, for your true interpretation of the most reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s words. Sing a song full of the faith that the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the present has brought us. To honor the works of the great writer and poet Langston Hughes, the Williams High School Chorus will now sing from the lyrics of Mr. Hughes' I Dream of World Music by African-American conductor Mr. Andre Thomas. Please welcome once again the Williams High School Chorus under the direction of Ms. Marianne Vagnini Dadamo, accompanied by Mr. Joseph Giacovino. Thank you. 
Don't need the road we trod, bitter the chastening rod. Felt in the days when hope unborn had died. Civil rights are defined as the rights of citizens to political and social freedom and equality. The Negro marched for civil rights in the 1960s. Just as students are marching today, hoping their voices are heard concerning the rights to be safe in their schools. Imagine the pain, sorrow, and fear in their voices as they march through the streets, with policemen ready to dismantle the march, dogs ready to attack the marches, and fire hoses ready to be turned onto the marches with full force. The Wham's High School Chorus will not perform Ain't Gonna Let Nobody Turn Me Around Music by Rollo Dilworth. Thank you, Wham's High School Chorus, Mrs. Mariana Vagdini Dadamo, and Mr. Joseph Jacobino, for sharing with us two songs written from poet Langston Hughes' lyrics. one of West Africa's best known instruments. This goblet shaped drum is traditionally carved from a single piece of African hardwood and topped with an animal skin as a drum head. Some say the name of the djembe came from the Bamana in Mali who said Anke J, Anke Bay, 
to call their people together. As the saying translates as everyone gathered together, Je means gather and Be means everyone, which gave, which gave the drum used in these calls to order its name. Please welcome to the stage the Wham's Djembe percussionists.
<clears throat> Thank you again for calling us to, to gather for this celebration of black history. J means gather and B means everyone, which gave the drum used in these calls to order its name. Negro spirituals, which arose at plantations, were really a double-edged sword. What the melodies might suggest to masters that slaves were happy with their lot in life. If you listen closely, you will find the message of some spirituals was, was clearly defiant, indeed rebellious. Good news performed here today is a, is a spiritual, and this version of the song is arranged by Carrie Lane Grussell for String Orchestra. Please welcome to the stage the Wham's Orchestra under, under the direction of Miss Mary Case. Gonna lay down this world, gonna shoulder up on my cross, gonna take her home to Jesus, ain't that good news? <laughs> Thank you, Wham's Orchestra and Mrs. Case. Upcoming musical Memphis, directed by Mrs. Smith, showing on the stage April 6th, 7th, and 8th, the cast will sing Colored Woman from Act 1. 
It is 1953 in Memphis, Tennessee, and this song highlights the struggle of not just colored women in America at this time, but the struggle for all women to have equality. Huey supports the woman in his life and wants their art, to, their art to be strong and free. Please welcome to the stage the selected cast of Zani, Eric, Julia, Denaya, and the Waylon J Trio and Felicia's backup singers. of Memphis and we look forward to seeing your upcoming production. Last year, Miss Washington chose the theme Black History 
Black History Like an HBCU Halftime. Typically on HBCU campuses, the marching band has a per percussion section that begs of you to move your feet. Please welcome to the stage the Wham's drumline under the direction of Mr. Philip Sterling. Thank you, Drumline, for your truly amazing performance. 
Jazz, a type of music of black American origin characterized by improvisation, syncopation, and usually a regular or forceful rhythm emerging at the beginning of the 20th century. Brass and woodwind instruments and piano are particularly associated with jazz, although guitar and occasionally violin are also used. Styles include Dixieland, swing, bebop, and free jazz. Jazz, a form of American music that grew out of African Americans' music, musical traditions at the beginning of the 20th century. Jazz is gen generally considered a major contribution of the United States to the world of music. However you define it, it don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. Go. Presenting the Wham's Jazz Band, conducted by Mr. Philip Sterling.
Oh gosh. Thank you. Say, say this part. This part? Come on. Okay. Thank you. Wet. Hold on. Hold on. jazz band and drumline as well as Mr. Philip Sterling for your most uplifting performance of the music America has contributed to the rest of the world of music. Thank you Maloney, Rotella and board members attending. We will now have a few words from Mrs. Brenda Washington, co-director of our fourth annual WAMS Black History Month program. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming to our fourth annual Black History Month program here at the Waterbury Arts Magnet School. You have been a wonderful audience. Give yourselves a round of applause. I want to thank our administrators here at WAMS, 
the um, Ms. Lauren Elias, our principal, Mr. Joseph Noel, Dr. Mar Maria Stastitis, and Ms. Jennifer Dealey, our assistant principals, for being here with us today. Again, our visiting schools, Rotella and Maloney, and WAM student performers, for without whom none of this would have been possible. to thank our masters and mistresses of ceremony if they will come out and stand on the stage with me. I want to thank Clark Atkinson, Samantha Ferguson, Malachi Lewis, Kyle Williams, and Abina Yangson. Poster and programs were designed by Clark Atkinson and Samantha McCarthy. Our videography students under the direction of Mr. Justin Amenta. Our co-directors, myself and Mr. John Mobilio. Our stage and tech crews under the direction of Mr. Charles Chip Makakas. Printing and, sorry Chip, Printing of poster program, Mrs. Jeanette Gumbelevich. Stage crew, Mr. Bruce Post. And editing done for me, Mr. Patrick Ospelek. Also, I want to thank the Waterbury Board of Education, the Deputy Superintendent of Waterbury Public Schools, Mr. Robert Henry, WAM's faculty and staff. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You have seen the poster for our Black History Month program. On the poster, there are five individuals on the poster. There is a photographer that I knew growing up in Tuskegee, and his name is P.H. Polk. He was an African-American photographer known for his powerful, acute portraits of African-Americans from all walks of life. He also served for several years as head of the Tuskegee Institute Department of Photography. Joining him on our program is Misty Danielle Copeland, an American ballet dancer for American Ballet Theater, one of three leading classical ballet companies in the United States. Also, Prince Rogers Nelson, an American singer, songwriter, record producer, multi-instrumentalist, actor, and director. He was known for his electric work, flamboyant stage presence, extravagant dress and makeup, and wide vocal range. And he put on a good concert when I saw him in Birmingham, Alabama in 1984. Maya Angelou was a poet and award-winning author, known for her acclaimed memoir, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, and her numerous poetry and essay collections. Chancellor Jonathan Benet, professionally known as Chance the Rapper. He is an American rapper, singer, philanthropist, record producer, and actor from the West Chatham neighborhood of Chicago, Illinois. And if you keep up with what he does, other than rapping, he has given much back to his community.